While most Vermonters voted in new mayors in March, Barry City held off until now due to flood-related delays. Two candidates hope to replace incumbent Mayor Jake Hemrick, who's bowed out of the race. One is a familiar face. Former Mayor Tom Lazan is running again. The businessman served six consecutive terms as Barry's mayor from 2006 to 2018. He's up against Sam Stockwell, a city councillor and professor at the Community College of Vermont. Our Sophia Thomas reports. I am ready to go on day one. I'm ready to make those calls. Former Mayor Tom Lozon wants his old job back. And I think what they need is someone with my experience and someone with my connections and someone with my record of getting things done. While current city councilor Sam Stockwell envisions a fresh start. My work in human services brings an understanding of what it's like to not be welcome, to not find a place, to and to understand the struggles of people who um, don't have many advantages. The Democrat, endorsed by the outgoing mayor, would be Barry's first woman and openly gay mayor if elected. At the top of both candidates' lists, creating a flood-resilient city. Stockwell says she'd push to move development away from floodplains while supporting people who currently live in them, relying on federal, state, and grant funds. We have to make it safe for people. We have to help them make it safe by rebuilding in ways that are flood resilient. Lozon wants similar changes, but on a tighter timeline. He wants Barry residents to cover a 100,000 pre-engineering plan that would lay the groundwork for a $50 million project promoted by Governor Scott to restore the city's north end. It's May of 2024 and we don't have a plan. We have to move more quickly. Property taxes and the school budget are other hot button issues. Stockwell says increasing either on Barry residence dime isn't in the cards right now. Adding to that tax burden is, is just probably more than this population can can deal with right now. While Lozon wants to decrease the school budget, he says increased property taxes are crucial to lessen a six-figure operating deficit he fears is on the horizon. It's not fun news uh, for the voters and it's not fun news for the administration, but the sooner we start talking about it and identifying solutions to the problems, the sooner we identify solutions to the problems. You can vote in person on May 14th from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at Barry City's Civic Center Auditorium. Reporting in Barrie, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 News.